So I'm doing low press tonight. Five, I oh, sorry, it's a pyramid of five reps, three reps, one rep. Um, I think I'm going to be doing 160, 170, 180. My left elbow's been sore for a while, so we'll see how it goes. Numbers aren't important right now, but um, I'll get the reps in. And good news, a 300 kg Atlas stone has been made in the Atlas Endurance workplace, so it's going to be up here soon and we can all pet it together. And it's only me tonight. Looks, uh, looks got sore gatties and he can't train. F*** it, let's train along! I thought you weren't going to train today. Oh my beast. So, I've had a little bit of a dodgy belly. Because Tom gave me some bad protein earlier on. Uh, no, just a little bit of a, a runny tummy. But I've put a tampon up my butthole. So I'm hoping that'll uh, plug everything up. Why are you zooming in so much, Simon? <laughs> Just get close. Do you think I need to shave my nose here? It's all it. Yep. Mm. Interesting. Oh, speaking of butt plugs. Luke? <laughs> Tom? Tom? Have you seen Luke? I went home. <laughs> I'm only here. That what? Was a, that was a towel trick. It was up a while ago. What? Remember, like the dogs didn't know where he went. So basically, Simon, you're like a dog. You didn't know where I went. Oh. That was quite funny, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Right, mate. <laughs> One, two, three. So uh, obviously your video just came up, uh, the inspirational one. Mm. You have anything inspirational to say today? To achieve, you have to believe. Achieving something is the greatest feeling in the world. That's why I've not felt it yet, because I've not achieved anything. Be spicy. Let's go, come on. Come on, <coughs> Dude, come on. 
one. Come on, attack. Good, Tom. Come on. Surprisingly, five reps are 164, okay? Three at 174, okay? Now we've got one left at 180, so I've 90% completed and I'm still intact and I feel all right. Blog's feeling good. Um, since I've been doing the stone, blog's been feeling good, so uh, it's going to keep battle through and battle through. It's what I do, you know? They don't just call me Mr. Spicy, they call oh. me Mr. Frosty. Because I battle through the scars. Item. Well, yeah, so speed deadlifts, six sets of two. Um, speed's just to help power off the floor, to help my stone lift, and just generate, uh, really just getting my hips and glutes firing. So, and uh, yeah, log was good. I mean, 531 was good um, first week doing it. And it's just going to keep increasing. Felt comfier than I thought it would, um, even though I don't feel the best tonight. But. I'm in my playground, I'm in my office, this is my job. And remember guys, 300 kg, dig deep, dig deep, deep. How deep, Simon? Deep. Deep. know but I wear the cuff because I get a lot of tendon pain um, I'm not just gonna numbs a little bit using those multi cuffs obviously having one cuff on it's it might take a little bit of that balance aspect because I've got one cuff on there more pop maybe in my right than my left so I think it might be something I'll have to just throw on so yeah that felt okay that one it's the first um, log session back in anger, really, um, since since the record. So I've let my body kind of you know recover for however many weeks, two, three weeks, because obviously it was heavy training for a long time. And now we're ready to go, go, one hundred. Rob Bailey, I love you. I'm doing deadlifts, normal deadlifts this time, no one inch deads, just off the floor, pulling. It's not how fast you do it, it's how fast the bar moves. When people think speed, they think how fast they can, their body pulls, it's how fast the bar leaves the deck. So you want to try and pull the bar as fast as you can, you know? You any uh, any tips for improving that? No, just, just lift. Check out YouTube, check out Google. Just do Google, just type in how to increase bar speed. How did your session go, Tom? Good. Log and speed deadlifts. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. What's on tonight? Starts with G and ends in G. Gulag. Uh -huh. With high cholesterol, Simon and Mr. Pop Tarts. Luke Stoughton. Anyway, that was log press. Damn. Um, it felt okay. It wasn't perfect, but um, a good starting point. So 190, two sets of two, 
Uh, okay, the pops there. Again, just a couple of wee niggles, but they'll uh, get ironed out quite soon, I'd imagine. So that was a log, that was the main compound. So I've got now some inclines, a 45 degree incline seated log press from the rack. So using the old sturdy Merafit 10 inch log. See how that goes. <laughs> Elegantly done. Have you ever seen an albatross? No, not even when I was in America. But did you know they're actually larger than seagulls? They're 3.3 meters wide. Steven Spielberg was in touch with me asking to do a, a voiceover for his new animation movie based in Scotland. Would you like a little demo? Yeah, why not? <coughs> Just need to get into character. <coughs> William Wallace, Scotland. In the glens of Scotland. Where the men are men, the women folk are secure, because we look after a woman like no other. We are the Clan McGregor, the Clan McStoltman. And I say this with a spit in my voice, the testosterone erupting from my veins. I am a Highlander. I am Luke Stoltman. That was it, just something like that. It's pretty good. Yeah, it was all right. It needs to be improved. My saliva needs to stop spitting. I've got a wee bit on your camera, it's all right. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Um, yeah, so, yeah, thanks, Stephen. Uh, Mr. S Mr. Spielberg, sir, for... So, yeah, that's like up in the pipeline. What about Tom? Have you any... How about you, mate? All right, mate. <laughs> I'm the true Scotsman. I'm from Glasgow, so don't mess with me. I don't know who Stephen... Hillsburger or <laughs> Ronnie or any one of them guys, I, I am the original. You ever watch the uh, Teletubbies? Yep. I think you should do your voice acting for the sun. <laughs> right guys, that's the overhead pressing session done. Pretty decent. First one back in the saddle, as they say. Just want to give Mr. Richard Looney a um, big, big, big thank you. Huge shout out to Richard again. Huge spicy shout out. For Round of applause. And I would also like to say thanks, Richard. What did you do? You were doing deadlifts, speed deadlifts. Log and deadlifts, nice and easy. Big log coming soon, big deadlift coming soon. Big stone coming soon. Okay, Mr. Big breakfast coming soon. All right, cocky. Chinese maybe too. And a big Call of Duty. So you did deadlifts and log? I just tell them everything I did, you know. Yeah. Tell you what, see if you guys want to see us play Call of Duty, leave a little comment down below and we'll start to do some streams and gaming stuff. We'll do a 1v1. If you want it. If not, we won't. And we can tell Tom to shut up about the Gulag. If you want to see Luke and me in the Gulag, type Gulag in the comments. You know you want it, come on. Um, and thank you to everybody that's off. Uh, that's Buy our Spicy, spicy Stockman and our new Stockman vs the World t-shirts, we appreciate it all. Thank you very much guys. Be patient with the stock for the spicy ones, um, they're a bit hot because they're so spicy. But they are coming back in stock soon, there's plenty of stock left, Stockman vs the World, keep buying, keep supporting us. And uh, remember guys, world record at the Stone programme, you want to be the best in the world at Stones? You know, what, you know what to do. You know what to do. www.stokemanbrothers.com Thanks guys. Keep liking. Keep subscribing. Keep commenting. And what's he saying? Stay safe. Smile. Stay spicy. And keep ringing that little bell guys. Ding ding ding. ding, ding.